Yo, what is going on? So today, the brand new update, the Colot Battle, has actually released into the game, as you can see. It is very beautiful. Also, look at the sky. Look how crazy the sky looks. But yeah, do let me know in the comments what you think of this update, because I'm very curious to know. And also, more importantly, comment down which team you're on which color like which color team are you on i'm on the blue team so shout out to all the people that are currently on the blue team but if you're on purple green red yellow or orange do comment down below and if you see someone comment your colors uh team in the comments like that comment and then we'll try and see which comments got the most likes to see which team is the best all right but obviously i'm thinking blue because i'm on blue so let me know if you're on blue because us blues we need to stand together anyway regardless please do consider leaving a like and subscribing every now and then i do give away a huge to make sure you got notifications on just in case you want to try and win one now this update there's a few things i want to discuss now first of all it is these paint buckets that you can get up here now the way this update works if you don't know already is this leaderboard Obviously, there is six teams and you spin the wheel and you get but and you get placed on a random team. Now, your team does reset every like 12 hours. So if you don't like the color team you're on, then don't worry because it, you'll be uh, you'll be changed every 12 hours. So everyone will get new team members basically twice a day. But essentially, every team is fighting on the leaderboard. And the way you work your way up the leaderboard is by actually hatching pets these pets here and you can actually see how much the pets that you're hatching like what their worth is because the regular is one point this pet here whatever it's called i don't even know what it's called but that's worth 200 this like tiger is worth 100k and then the huge roma tiger i believe it's called is worth 1.5 mil and pretty much everyone on your team all your points will be added up together and that's what this leaderboard here is for now the reason you want to be number one like for example me i'm on the blue team so we're actually fourth place right now which kind of sucks but the reason you want to be number one, like the purple team currently is, is because first place actually gets five buckets. So every single person on the purple team, which is obviously number one at this particular time, will get five buckets. And all the other losers, all the other people in, you know, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth place will get one bucket. So obviously, if you're winning, you get five times more buckets than every other, every other team. That's really OP. And that's why you want to make sure that you're on the winning team. And one thing about these buckets is you actually get them every hour. So if you are consistently like on the top of the leaderboard, you every hour, you will just get five buckets. So if you're on the top of the leaderboard for three hours, you'll get 15, which is crazy. But if you're second place, you'll only get three within three hours. Yeah, make sure you grind in the leaderboard for your team because everyone benefits if, uh, if you're number one. Now, what you do with these buckets is you actually, you can craft, well, you can choose, actually. You can choose either to make color gifts, which is uh, pretty good. These are worth quite a lot of gems at the minute. So one bucket to craft one color gift, or you can use your, uh, your buckets of paint to earn clan points, if that's what you want to do. Or you can use 25 buckets to stay on your color, like your team, which to be honest with you, I don't recommend you do this. This is kind of a waste, if I'm being perfectly honest. Because you might be thinking, oh, I've got 25 buckets of paint, right? And you might be on purple team and you might be thinking, oh, obviously I'm got I want to stay on the winning team. But if like obviously purple is winning now, but when this shuffles, it will all it'll basically be all new players. So that won't determine that that's going to be the winning team again, because all those players on that team will be shuffled to different teams. So that's why I recommend not using this. It's kind of a waste. Like you're much better off crafting 25 color gifts and trying to get a huge or something. But that's the team leaderboard. Obviously, you've got the individual leaderboard right here. I've got 300k points so far, and the number hundredth place is actually like 1.6 mil. Now, if you're not a team player, you can actually just go for this leaderboard like single-handedly which i guess this still benefits your team anyway but yeah you can get this huge chroma swan and you get this huge chroma swan as well this is regular this is rainbow so top 500 top 5000 pretty cool now there's quite a few things you can do to help out your team so they can have a better chance of winning now obviously the best way to go to the leaderboard is basically just spamming this egg so what you want to do is you want to make sure that with the egg machine make sure you've got as many of these bought as humanly possible depending on your rank obviously like i can't buy these two just yet because i'm not rank 30 but the more eggs you can hatch per second will basically give you more points in the long run so definitely make sure you do that another thing i'd recommend that you do is put on hasty flags because hasty flags do seem to be the best option like let me actually just put some more on here you want to put hasty flags on obviously make sure you got your fruits on too activate your rainbow fruits or we'll put on every fruit basically just go to your items scroll down and all these buffs just make sure you've got all of these on like all these tennis balls and all these bananas and fruits especially rainbow fruits they're really op we oranges and watermelons and all that essentially you want to put on every single buff 
possible just to help you out. Also, your enchants. Don't forget about your enchants. This is what I've got on. I don't know if this is the best of the best, but this is what I've been rocking with. I think it's um pretty good. So basically, I've got a super magnet, which by the way, I've took off my boss chest mimic and my chest mimic because I don't think they work in the like the events. So I've actually taken those off. Now, at the minute, I've got two coins 10 on. I've got two lucky 10s on, which to be honest, I might take one coins off and put another huge hunter book on just like that. Actually, let's try and make it so it's like more, more organized. There we go. That looks better. So I've got two lucky books on, two huge hunter books on, one shiny hunter. So obviously, this increases the odds of hatching a shiny pets by 60%. So if you're hatching shinies, I'm assuming that will give you more points. Lucky eggs coins criticals and strength obviously you, you want to make sure you've got level 10s i just don't have these level 10s just yet but i will eventually i'm a super magnet on so that is my enchantment loadout if you've got a better loadout let me know in the comments because yeah i'm not 100 sure about this loadout just yet like i said i keep changing it to be honest now one good thing about this event is you can actually activate your potions in the tycoon uh, the dino tycoon and the rng event you couldn't activate potions so just spam all your best potions on like this i'm literally just gonna activate every single one or even the huge hunter potion why not and this uh cocktail potion literally just activated them all obviously make sure they're leveled up in the, the best potions possible you're for the most um the best chance of the best pets so you can get as many uh, coins as possible or as many points as possible sorry for the leaderboard okay so this is what i do i um i don't have golden eggs on because the reason i don't have the golden eggs on is because I keep running out of money. Like if I was to have this on, I would basically be there for like a few minutes and then I'd run out of coins and then my auto hatch would turn off. So I don't recommend that you put that on. What you should really do is have your auto hatch on and charged eggs on. This is what I've got on. And I've realized that I don't actually lose coins. Or I don't run out of coins, sorry. Because if you are auto farming here, the amount of coins you actually generate, which I'm actually not doing in the minute, let's put my pets on. I can auto farm, which also, by the way, I don't think you 100% need the auto farm game pass, which I'm going to test in a second. But basically, you should be able to farm enough coins to where you can just constantly hatch this. Like I said, make sure you got your 20 times on and your auto hatch on. And then, yeah, you can just spam hatching just like this. And uh, yeah, if you're farming your coins there with a hasty flag on, all your potions on, your enchantments on, you should be able to farm more coins than you're actually spending. So technically, you should never run out. And you're basically creating a loop of like an infinite hatch because, uh, yeah, you should never really run out of coins here doing this but because the egg is so close i don't think you actually need auto hatch or auto farm sorry so you can like you can activate auto hatch like this and then run into the area you gotta be kind of close though yes yeah, you look so it's kind of hard to see but i'm in the area right now and my pets are actually farming with auto farm off and i can farm this area and i'm also hatching at the same time because i'm just in range of the egg but i'm also in range of the area to farm so i definitely recommend do this if you don't have uh, auto farm game pass because yeah that's that's pretty op obviously you've kind of got to be in this exact area right here just so you're close enough to the egg because i think if you like wander off over here obviously the auto hatch is going to cancel so make sure you're close enough so uh yeah pretty cool oh one other thing to mention too is you can't activate sprinklers unfortunately you can't do sprinklers or any of this stuff actually you can't do tnt or the pinatas or party boxes or tnt or nothing like that but you can place down flags obviously i've already shown that and your fruits and potions and stuff also one other bonus tip which i don't know if if it's still going to count but when the update first came out, um, coins were like really difficult to get and it was like really slow to farm coins. But he released a buff that actually increased the amount of coins you can get overall. So if you're in an old server, then make sure that you have joined a fresh new server because that will uh, increase the amount of coins you get. So obviously the old servers won't have the, the buff activated. So make sure you, you leave that old server and join a new server if possible. And you'll notice you'll, you'll be getting like five times as many coins. It's crazy. So uh, yeah, definitely make sure you do that. But do definitely let me know what you think of this update. Do you like it? I've actually got a, I've got a poll on my community page. If you want to go vote on there, it's like rate the new update out of five stars. I'm curious to see what that is actually. Um, what, how many people have chosen five stars or one star or whatever. So yeah, comment down your, your team name or your team color and what you think of the update. And I'll make sure to uh, read those comments. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you. And I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.